Hello, my dear apprentices of mathematics. Here's your coach, Mr. Magno. We are now looking at module six, lesson 20. These lessons are moving fast. Okay, now today we've been learning how to graph. Today we're gonna read some graphs and we're going to be able to answer some questions based on what we read. So the first point, first, first you have to read the instructions. The line graph below tracks a total let me underline this, a total tomato production for one tomato plant. The, toma the total tomato production is plotted at the end of each eight weeks. So every eight weeks, they plot a point. Use the information in the graph to answer the questions that follow. Now let's look at the information quickly. Um, if you look at <clears throat> these are weeks, from six to 13 weeks, they plotted this tomato production. And this is how many, how much, how many, how many tomatoes in pounds, how much of it was, was produced. Okay. So now if we look at the graph from week six to seven, oh, well, let's look at one more thing. The every two squares is one unit. So this will be half, this will be six and one half. Okay. So make sure you understand that it's always important important to understand the scale here if you think about this this is going to be let's go from here to 10. if this is five six seven eight nine ten so each of them each of each unit is one okay all right so that's out of the way make sure you finish um uh, doing the this scaling thing the scaling, uh, writing the, the number names in the scale, the numbers. All right, so we can see that from week seven, it grew, let's see, it grew how many? Well, look, it is um, pounds. So it is. it grew from probably one and a half pounds to three. And then on the, the, the seven and eight week, it grew only less than one pound. And eight and nine, it grew almost two pounds. And nine and ten, it grew, well, it grew a lot more on this one. It grew how many pounds? One, two, three, more than three and a half pounds. And weeks 10 and 11, it grew from half a pound, which is, this will be, if you are going to write this is going to be eight and a half pounds to nine that's very little and then and from week 11 and 12 it just grew very little and at the end from week 11 to 12 it grew one pound okay it just went up once that means that's one pound remember we're counting going up not going sideways okay anyway let's look at the questions now how many pounds of tomatoes did the plant produce at the end of 13 weeks? Let me zoom in a little. I think we can zoom in a little on this one. Okay, so let's look at the end of 13 weeks. This is week six, this is week 13. Let's go look at that point there. And how many pounds did they produce? 10 pounds. So we're gonna write the answer, the plant produced 10 pounds of tomatoes at the end of how many weeks? At the end of the 13th week, right? 13 weeks. So there is the answer. See, we would we'll use the graph to answer the question. Let's look at question number two. How many pounds of tomatoes did the plant produce from week seven to week 11? Okay, so here's week seven. I'm going to circle week seven. And week 11 is right here. So from there to here, how much it grew. There are several ways you can do this. You can just make a, a straight line right here and you will see how many did it go up. Now we can also go count up like this. One, two, three, four, five, six pounds. So from here, if you're able, if you can imagine, imagine moving this dot all the way over here, right above week seven, 
this is how much it grew. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is the plant produced, the plant produced six pounds of tomatoes from week seven to week 11, period. That is it, okay? And we can break it down and saying that from week, from week um, seven to nine, it grew, it was uh, two pounds. And from week nine to, to 11 was one, two, three, three, four. That'll be six pounds, which is exactly what we came up with. Okay, our next question is, is which one, which one period showed the greatest change in tomato production? The least, okay, and explain how you know. Okay, let's see, the greatest. All right, so if you look at 9 and 10, from here to here is the greatest production because that was one, two, three and a half pounds. So we can write week, oh, we over here, week 9 to 10 was the greatest change, which is, uh, we can say pounds, but it's just asking you, what was it? The least was, okay, let's look at which one was the least. The least is the one that should look almost flat. This one moved up, this one is almost flat, but not completely. This one moves up, this one produced, this one produced a little more. Oh, look at this one, this is flat right here. So that will be probably our answer. So from week, I'm gonna circle this right here. From week, uh, let me see, what will that be? Week 11, right? And week 12, that's when, when the least production was, okay, the least, The least was week 11 to 12, okay? Notice that on the greatest, the line is much steeper, and on the least, the line is almost flat, okay? So that's how you, would, that's how you explain it, why? Okay, so um, let's write that information down. Uh, let's see, the week, the line between 9 and 10 was much steeper. Okay, so that will be to explain the first answer. And, uh, <clears throat> and the line between 11 to 12 let me get this over here it's it's almost flat it's almost flat all right let's look at the last but more uh, complex question here during week six and eight jason fed the tomato plants with water let's make a couple of drawings i like i want to show you like how would you answer the, this question? So from six and eight, he only added water. So from six to eight, which is this right here, I'm gonna I'm gonna color this yellow. From six to eight, he only um uh, water the plants. That's it. That's the only thing he did. Okay, and let's look at the next piece of information. During weeks. 8 and 10, he used a mixture of water and fertilizer A. So same thing, but water and fertilizer A. And that will be from weeks 8 to 10. So from, from 8 to 10, which is this one here, 8 and 10 is over here, he used the water, but he also uh, put fertilizer, was that fer fertilizer A? And I just put the F for, fer for fertilizer. Okay, 
Our next piece of information is, and he used fertilizer B on the tomato plant uh, on the weeks 10 and 13. So from here, this, this part and this part, he, all, he used a fertilizer B. That's what F is for fertilizer. Okay. Um, that is the, the um, those are the results. Okay. So let's see what the question is. The question is, compare the tomato production for these periods. All right. So if we compare the tomato productions, let's make a conclusion. The water helped make, okay. So let's write it down. So let's talk about the water first, right? The water, the water segment. It grew, right? Okay. Can you see it? Yes. The water helped make tomatoes, comma, but fertilizer, fertilizer A seemed to make, oh, you don't see the word seem, let me bring my computer, this, there it is, seem to make more tomatoes. And that's what we analyzed when we looked at this. If we compare this segment right here to this segment right here, then on this one, there were more tomatoes, it grew more. All right, and the last one, okay, let's see, then just water. So it's comparing that just water. Okay, fertilizer B. Fertilizer B didn't seem to help at all because the plant the plant taking plant uh hardly hardly increased production during weeks what is that weeks 10 and 13. And that will be your answer for this one. So see, now we're look at, uh, looking at problems um, that are real life problems and we're answering questions based on the graph that we learned. My friends, this is your coach, Mr. Magno, signing up from studio, your studio 520. This is a good math lesson. Watch it, learn, review it, repeat it. Do whatever you need to do to understand what you're learning. Don't just go in there and be casual. Learn today. I encourage you to do that. Your coach, Mr. Mango, is asking you to step up your game. Signing out.